Olympic relay medalist Dion Lindor dies at 29. Umahi declares presidential ambition, says, I'm not in contest with anybody. Boris Johnson appears before Parliament over latest party scandal. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and you're watching TOS News 360. Trinidad and Tobago's Olympic medalist Dion Lendor has died in a car crash in Texas at the age of 29. The world 4x400 meter relay medalist was driving home after coaching at Texas A&M University. Lendor anchored his country to a bronze medal at London 2012 and also competed at the Rio and Tokyo Olympics. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Issa Ali, Brian Pantami and his interior counterpart, Ralph Aregbeshola, will on Friday launch the Digital Nigeria Centre project in Elisha, Ocean State. According to the statement issued by the Nigerian Communications Commission on Tuesday, the DNC targets students and youth for skill acquisition in order to increase ICT literacy among school teachers and students, provide a platform for accessing online educational resources, equip students with ICT skills, facilitate ICT adoption in teaching and learning, and increase pass rates in mathematics, English language, and other science subjects. A former governor of Oyo State, Otumba Olawa Kala, has died at 71. TOS News gathered that he died in the early hours of Wednesday in the Ogbomosho, Oyo State. Born on the 3rd of June 1950 at Ogbomosho in the Ogbomosho North Local Government Area of Oyo State, Alao Akala served as the Deputy Governor of Oyo State from May 2003 to January 2006. Following the impeachment of the then incumbent governor, Rashidi Ladoja, he was sworn into office in January 2006 and served for 11 months. Governor of Emboin State, Dave Umahi, has declared his intention to run for the presidency in the forthcoming 2023 general elections on the platform of the All Progressives Congress. The governor made this known while speaking with State House reporters after a meeting with President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday at the presidential villa Abuja. On the state government during a state security council meeting held in response to renewed hostilities between farmers and headers, resulting in casualties in some boundary towns between Ondo and Edo State, has called on residents to report any intrusion of farmland and unauthorized grazing to the police, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Southwest Security Network could name Amotekun and other security agencies. The directive was disclosed on Wednesday by the State Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Donald Ojogo. This is your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television. You are watching TOS News 360, Africa Global and Business Stories on Return. Stay with us. Thanks for staying. The National Orientation Agency has called on Nigerians to take measures to comply fully with the federal government's directive to fly the national flag at half-mast from 12 to 14 January 2022 as Nigeria mourns the passage of the nations from ahead of the interim national government, Chief N.S. Shonekal. The Director General of the agency, Dr. Garba Abari, notes that it is a common practice worldwide for national flags to be flown at half-mast on occasions of the death of a national figure, Remembrance Days or National Catastrophe. He describes the death of Chief Shonekan as a huge national loss, given the immense contributions of the statesman at a critical moment in our nation's history. According to a South African local official, 16 people were burned to death on Tuesday after a minibus taxi and an SUV crashed on a highway in the country's northeastern Lipompo province. The Provincial Transport Ministry spokesman, Mike Maringa, on Wednesday told newsmen that the SUV driver lost control after a tire burst and collided head-on with the 22-seater Mercedes-Benz bus. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson on Wednesday appeared before Parliament over an alleged breach of coronavirus protocols that resulted to damning headlines and calls for him to resign. Johnson is under fierce pressure to say whether he attended a boozy gathering in the garden of his Downing Street residence in May 2020 in the midst of the country's first strict lockdown. Ukraine on Wednesday confirmed the killing of one of its soldiers in fighting with pro-Moscow separatists a day before the planned talks between NATO and Russia in Brussels over the clash. Tensions around Ukraine have skyrocketed in recent months 
as Washington and Kiev's European allies accused Russia of threatening the former Soviet country with invasion. According to Ukraine, the separatists had targeted its military positions in the east of the country on Tuesday with heavy machine guns and small arms. And now to business, Seems the federal government has reiterated its plan to reduce the importation of livestock products so as to scale up its local production as well as marketing in Nigeria. This was disclosed by the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Ernest Umahihe, on Tuesday at the opening of the National Dairy Policy Validation Workshop in Abuja. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan-African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Thanks for watching. Thank you.